such a great day for February. I thought I would come outside in my bikini and show you our hot tub that is not new anymore, but I wanted to tell you kind of about how the way we clean it has progressed. Uh, at first, we were getting in there, it was so easy just to throw some chlorine uh, pellets in there and it just kept it clean, it was easy to do, didn't have, it was not a daily maintenance type thing. But then we started thinking, we're sitting here in this chlorine and we know that chlorine is to a toxic substance. I mean, it's not good for you. Uh, I, I worry about swimmers all the time, you know, kids that go and that's their thing and you know, they train in the pool and I'm just like, ooh, they're just sucking in all of that chlorine every day. It's just, it can't be good for you. So we decided that we were gonna try out uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can't buy regular hydrogen peroxide, like the kind that you get at the store. You have to get a 35% hydrogen peroxide to do this. And that can be corrosive. Um, they even say on the label, corrosive, but if you handle it properly, you don't have to worry about it getting in contact with your skin, no irritation, no burning. You just want to make sure you wear your safety glasses or goggles when you're handling it. Um, you know, get your measuring cup, make sure that you're not putting too much or too little. Uh, we started out putting uh, 50 parts per million, but have decided that it just wasn't clean enough for us. So we've increased that to 100 parts per million now, and it's perfect. We do it every day. Actually, Exoman does it every day. And it has stayed nice and clean. You can see it's just nice blue color. Um, we don't feel gross when we get in there. <laughs> it's just, it's nice. And we don't have to worry about having a bunch of chlorine get in our system. Um, I was watching a video recently where they had a glass of water with chlorine in it and they tested it with a chlorine strip and it definitely had lots of chlorine. The guy put his hand in it. One minute later, he pulls his hand out, puts the, another test strip in and there's no chlorine in that water. Where is the chlorine in his body? Can't be good day after day exposure to that. So, I'm very excited because now we have hydro heat therapy. Um, Exoman can get in there if his back is bothering him, which it hasn't been lately, which is very nice because of heat therapy, I think. So I just, I think hot tubs are really good um, for you health-wise. Uh, they're fun. They can still be fun even in the summer. Uh, you can get in and wait around. Ruby loves this. Ruby's my grandbaby, our grandbaby. Yeah, so this little one is perfect for us because it's basically a two-person hot tub, but we have fit three, even four people in there. So it's great, it's inexpensive. I also wanted to show you again that we order these in gallon bottles because that way you don't have to pay for like special hazmat shipping. Um, this is uh, flammable and it's corrosive, so they don't want to have any problems in shipping. So if you order it that way, you don't have to pay any extra. Also, you can get these test strips just to make sure that you are not above. But we put in about 100 parts per million, which is about four ounces. You take one of these and you just stick it in the water. It'll show you the color which right there, it's at about, right at about 100 parts per million. So, which is fine. You just wanna keep it under 200 parts per million. Basically, we think it's way more safe. So just remember, it's a good idea to wear eye protection and you don't wanna go pouring a whole gallon in there at once and breathing the vapors because that can be damaging to your lungs. So if you treat it properly, you use it right, you're gonna be fine. So in the end, I think you'll find that this is way safer than chlorine. And I hope this video helped. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. You can read the comments, leave a comment. 
and we'll see you at the next video. Mwah.